Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Emma. In this video, I will demonstrate how to investigate a malicious batch script. First, let's talk about what batch scripts are. Maggie is a Windows system administrator at a tech company. She is tasked with configuring workstations for new employees. To set up a computer for a new user, she performs tasks like creating a new user account, setting a password, modifying the account type, setting up and configuring applications, etc. Instead of manually performing each task whenever a new employee joins the company, she can create a batch script to automate these repetitive tasks. To configure a new user's computer, all Maggie needs to do is execute the script. A batch script is a single file that contains a sequence of commands to be executed on a Windows computer. Scripts can contain native Windows commands or PowerShell commandlets. Various tasks related to system administration, file management and user account management can be automated using batch scripts. All script files have the bad extension. Cyber adversaries misuse batch scripts to perform malicious activities like create backdoor connections to the attacker's computer, execute commands to wipe out files from a target computer, download malicious files from the internet and execute them, etc. I have a malicious batch script, which we will investigate now. Here is the malicious batch script. The sample had been distributed through an email attachment. The script's name makes one think that this is a document. When someone double-clicks the file to open it, the script would be executed. Let us perform simple static analysis of this script. To view its contents, the script can be opened in Notepad. When the script runs, it would set the title in the command window to update. An unsuspecting user would assume that an update is running in the background. The set command is used to assign a value to the variable devil. Legitimate programs and scripts do not utilize unusual variable names. It is highly likely that this is a cyber adversary's activity. The value assigned to the variable refers to an executable. In the current user's temporary folder, this executable is not part of the programs available by default on Windows. The next line in the script indicates that the bits admin command is in use. Bits refers to background intelligent transfer service. It is a legitimate service on Windows machines to transfer large files from remote hosts. The transfer option indicates that a file transfer activity is about to take place. The name assigned to this transfer operation is MDJ. The action performed is download. The other available option is upload. The priority assigned to this download task is foreground. Other available priorities are high, normal, and low. The next parameter refers to the name of the remote file. Here we can see the name of an executable present on a remote server. This is the file to be downloaded. The final parameter refers to the local path where the downloaded file is to be saved. Here, the file would be saved within the temporary folder with the name ds.exe. Once the transfer is complete, the binary is executed. Then the batch script deletes itself. Let's do some research on this IP address. URL House is a website that tabulates information about known malicious hosts. It has been identified that this IP address is associated with well-known malware families like Agent Tesla. From static analysis of the batch script, we identified that the script downloads a binary from a known malicious host and stores it within the current user's temporary folder. Then the binary is executed. Following this, dynamic analysis of the batch script can be performed. 
it can be executed in a sandbox. If the malicious host is still up, the suspicious binary would be downloaded to your computer. You can then perform static and dynamic analysis on that binary to fully comprehend the cyber adversary's intention. The sample we processed was a simple one. In the wild, you may even find complicated batch scripts, which utilize obfuscation. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!